YouTube Shook and Snobby here with a review of the Power Ranger Super Mega Force Thundersaurus Megazord figure. Now this is a re-release of the Retro Fire Thundersaurus Megazord that was released way back during Power Rangers RPM in 2009. Part of the second wave, uh, I think it was sold alongside the Mystic Titan and the Valve Max Megazord. The Mystic Titan was released not too long ago. Um, and now this one has as well. Unfortunately, Valve Max hasn't. I hope it is at some point. I'm not expecting it to because it's a secondary Megazord, but uh, I don't own it. And I would really like to. But <laughs> regardless, um, unlike the other Megazord figures recently, he doesn't have a pack mate. He was just added to a case with the Legendary Megazord and the Wild Force Megazord, which is a little bit of a shame because I do like these figures. And I would like to see uh, some of the other ones that didn't get a shot at being released or were quite hard to find um, eventually get found. Um, looking at you, Paleo Max and Mach Megazord and Time Force Megazord. But regardless, um, it's a pretty decent figure. Uh, now, being so early in the Retro Fire line, it has those limitations. It doesn't have any sort of elbow joints at all. Uh, so you're restricted to a rotation up here, a swivel right there. And that's all for that arm. There's no other sorts of swivels. Same thing over here. You got the side to side. But you do have a rotation here at the tail. Um, the head is on a very limited ball joint. It can't look up all that much at all. It can look down and side to side pretty well. But um, as for looking up, it ain't looking up. Uh, um, down here, it's got the same sort of style that the Retro Fires have always had with the pin and swivel system um, and so you got quite a bit of range of motion on the uh, legs down here plus you have a thigh swivel right there a single knee joint and then a swivel down here at the foot so the leg articulation is spot on perfect as it usually is with the retro fire figures and the megazord figures unfortunately it has that flaw with the early figures of just having absolute crap arm posability and that really does hinder it now i'm not expecting anything on this arm it's a giant drill tail sword thing uh lance maybe whatever you want to call it it does spin but regardless uh it it's i'm not expecting a joint there that'd be kind of a weird place to have a joint but there's no excuse for the triceratops arm um it could have really used a joint to get some cool poses going but now you're limited to that swivel. So that's uh, quite a bit of a shame, I think. Um, but regardless of the pretty crap posability, I love the paint on this. Um, it is gorgeous. Now, I'm not sure if the original release had uh, this much paint. Um, I actually really haven't seen pictures of the original release to compare. Because uh, sometimes the newer, new, newer, newer re-releases um, have a little bit brighter paint and stuff than the originals. Um, but regardless, it looks very nice. The silver is pretty much trademark Bandai silver. That is very, very nice looking. The gold through here is um, very subdued, but nice looking as well. And all of the dino features through here is uh, it's just done very, very well. You got the T-Rex with the teeth and the eyes and the little silver face thing up here. The Triceratops has all those same features, including the eyes. And even the pterodactyl down here has eyes and the beak and everything uh, colored. To me, everything that should be colored, um, the Triceratops parts right here I think could be silver. I would have to check again, but I'm pretty sure those are silver. That's really the only speck of paint detailing. Um, maybe the tail, I don't know. The tail I don't know for certain. That's really missing is a little bit on the Triceratops arm. Uh, but it just looks nice i think the head sculpt here is actually very very nice i really dig his uh head sculpt it's great um now unfortunately when you spin the figure around you lose um a lot of the back detailing obviously but um even the triceratops arm still has uh, all the same paint detailings on the back and surprisingly even the shoulder pads are both silver and gold on there so i have to give credit where credit's due the articulation on this guy is complete balls but the paint is very nice, um, so I, I will definitely give it props for that. And that's not to say you can't get some cool poses. Uh, they're all kind of limited and in slightly the same sort of fashion. But um, if you can kind of use the leg articulation to your advantage, uh, you can get some pretty uh, cool poses going on with this guy. So at the end of the day, 
Is he worth $12.99? I think if you're a fan of Dino Thunder and a fan of the Thundersaurus Megazord, then by all means he is. Um, the, the, like I said, the articulation is crap, but the paint more than makes up for it. Um, it, cause you can get some decent poses, and as long as you find one that you enjoy, he makes a great little display piece and a nice figure to fiddle with. Um, it is unfortunate that the, um, articulation can't be as up to par as on the Legendary Megazord. And it's also a shame that he doesn't have anyone to go with in the wave. I would have really dug a posable Q-Rex Megazord. Um, I don't know why they didn't bother making one, because I really want one. Um, but, it, so that, that's a little bit unfortunate, I think. But, uh, just viewing the figure on his own, I think he's well worth the twelve ninety nine. Uh, the Megazord figures tend to shelf warm a little bit, so if you want to hold off and try to get them on clearance, I think that's plenty possible. Now, I got this from Amazon.com, and as far as I know, at the time of this recording, he has yet to be seen in stores. So if you do want this guy, um, I will include a link to Amazon in the description below for you to monitor. He comes in stock uh, every once in a while. He just kind of comes in and out of stock. So keep an eye on him if you want him. At the end of the day, I think he's a great figure despite the lack um, of articulation. So thanks for watching. Take care, and have a great one. Bye.